Oh, Shalom Rastafari. This is scary right here on a certain level. I, um, this is an article on the internet concerning the devil's advocate. Right? Um, there are some, um, there are some Rastas or some ones who call themselves Rastafari and who have been operating the Rastafari community for a while, like this individual, um, Barbara Blake Hanna, also called Barbara Makita or Makita, as some mispronounce the name, but Barbara Makita Blake Hanna, a contributor, and, and, and wrote this particular article that I think quite rightly is called The Devil's Advocate. Now we get to find this on this particular site, Empress Voices on Repatriation. Right, and it's a wonderful um, art here by Ross the Jaziel, Jaziel, Jahaziel, right here. Um, a very beautiful artwork of our the mother of our nation, the Empress, Empress uh, Menin. You can see it right here on this particular page. Now, in order to get to this particular site, what we had to do, we basically put in. You might have misspelled this here, Ross by Jahaziel, but we put Jaziel, Devil Advocate Barber, you know, and um, interesting the name Barber too, but anyway, let's go back one particular page right here, so we were looking for this reparations discussion, this is an old, um, from 2006, and there's some other interesting articles and comments from Jahaziel, got to find his page, um, it was actually uh, Brother John, uh, Ross John Johannes, who actually pointed this out, that we have some Rastas, or so-called Rastas, who have gone around saying that they're representatives of um, the community, or empresses, or whatever like that, Yovas, and they've been putting forward certain ideas and been speaking, you know, so-called for the community even though they're not really a part of any organizations and have not even um, started any organizations. And we want to make an issue about organizations, too, because many folks say this is why they don't join organizations. So that means they prefer to remain in this organization, I mean, disorganized. And when that happens, there's many ones and ones who will creep into the Rastafari, Ja, Peace, and Love kind of uh, bandwagon Yovas and um, some of these individuals we know personally, or we've met them at least. You may not know them, make that acquaintance, but we have met them, and you know, in the early days of Rastafari. And well, we're not going to get into that. This article basically was published right Sunday, December 24th, 2006, and we're not going to go through the whole article right here. You know, saying go through the whole article right here. But you can see there's, there's this false uh, turn the other cheek philosophy, you know what I'm saying, written by these ones and ones. You know, now on a certain level, and sisters, daughters, mothers, and wives who are into the teaching of His Majesty and His Christ, please understand this. The statement doesn't only mean a physical so-called female, but there's a particular statement in the scripture that says, but Paul said, I suffer not a woman to teach. You know, there's, and, and we got to make this known, and part of this you know, this that we see going on is because many of the brothers, just like How to Make a Slave says, they put the woman out front and the men are running behind skirt. So now we have this goddess stuff and this kind of empress stuff going on. Instead of ones being sisters, daughters, mothers, and wives, we have this empress stuff. And some really take this to the head. You know, because most girls grow up in this uh, white supremacist society wanting to be um, princesses. Now, some say, well, brother, you, 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 you hate women. No, 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 you, you've got it all twisted. We hate what they have done to the black woman, that even some of the prolific writers out there are actually on the devil's advocate trip. You know what I'm saying? They're actually telling us we should forget about repatriation and to forget about reparation. We should forget about it. Because this will hurt certain white people who feel like doing good, certain peck of woods who want to, you know, do some good. You know, and this is a very, very important subject matter here. We don't really have even the opportunity to get into the details of this. But we wanted to point this out. We didn't want it to go 
without um, without saying, you know, where a lot of ideas are put forward here, but what's very interesting is the response from another sister, right, um, Sister Marina, legal counsel for um, the Bobo Shanti order, and it's a rebut to the devil's advocate or the truth about reparations. And it's a response to um, Barbara Makita Blake Hanna um, and what she wrote. And it's, it's very good. She, you know, this, this sister, this legal counsel, let's just give you her information right here. Um, she is Marina M. Blake, otherwise known as Empress Marina, an attorney at law and legal counsel to the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress, the EABIC, otherwise known as the Bobo Shanti Order, or Mansion of Rastafari, and this is some of her information right here, the, the law offices of Blake and Associates, that's the information right there, but now, her response to um, this uh, devil's advocate, to this devil advocate article by, um, uh, Blake Hanna, and j just a key example, because we talked about this before, in this particular section over here um, on uh, turn the other cheek. When Christ said turn the other cheek, he was talking about the sort of community that we as those who admit in him, who admit in his majesty and the black Messiah, the black Christ, are not to turn the other cheek to the aggressor, not to turn the other cheek to the enemy, the, 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 the enslaver or the slave master, but to learn to love one another for the sake of Christ and his kingly character. And it's so interesting how you have someone speak on this, what Jesus of Nazareth said, and yet they have not studied to show themselves approved like the word says. Study and show yourself approved to God, not to your white friends, you understand, or not to your European friends, or not to society, or your bread drain and your sister drain, but study and show yourself approved to God as a workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You got all the folks out there forever learning, but they have not been able to come to acknowledgement of the truth. They're telling us that we should forget about slavery and to forget about reparations and also to forget about repatriation. This is why when these individuals go to Africa and they say they're going there for Rastafari, they're using Rastafari as leverage for their own personal agenda because they're not connected with any sort of core organization or whatever else in Rastafari. And yes, we need organization. Because without organization, we have this continual disorganization and chaos and chaos and it begins with the teaching of his majesty and his Christ it begins with our learning our language and our learning of the true faith through that study of language because Hala Selassie the Rastafari he says that language is the key is the key of culture so we want to know our true divine heritage and the true teaching of the true Christ, Jesus Christmas, Yeshua Moshiach, the black Moshiach. We need to be able to know our language because that's part of it if you study how to make a slave. So when you see this one right here talk about turning the other cheek and then to invoke Jesus Christos, when Jesus Christos was not talking to the Romans, he was talking to the Israelites who were being divided against themselves and the whole David et impira that's Latin that means divide and conquer you know so anyway we just point this article out to the eye I want you to check it out you know check it out for yourself um, maybe we'll try to put a link if we can put a link to this particular article so ones can really read it for themselves weigh in on it the overs and then check us out at www.loj society and Nick and I discuss this a little bit more. All right, my brothers and sisters, our shalom, Rastafari.